lot there. Doing two more tonight, and one of them's one of who's your ones, and we're going to do a little football, okay? So, I want to see if you can guess who this is. Remember, these were all people that were Indiana natives. It is game time. My son would have this in. He already has my hand. Fight song sounds like a kiddie song. It's the same word, it's just here we go. Bob Greasy, born Evansville, Indiana, played football at Purdue, and then spent his career with the NFL, the Miami Dolphins. As far as I know, he's still alive today. In the 1970s, the Miami Dolphins were number one. Um, so let me tell you the story of Bob Greasy. Okay. Bear with me here. I just need to get this ready for the end of the show about his personal life. Got me some notes here. Let me tell you what first is in the book. And then I'll tell you what I found out, okay? Here's what the book says. This picture was taken in 1993, uh, and he was 48 at the time. So he's still living down in Jupiter, Florida half the time, and Banner, Elk, North Carolina half the time, up in the mountains. I'd be living there all, all the time. Anyway, he's a native of Evansville. He was a two-time All-American quarterback at Purdue. Woo! Boilermakers. He guided the Boilermakers to a Rose Bowl victory over Southern California. And then, uh, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. If not, right in. I thought I always heard it pronounced greasy, but um, he led the, um, he was drafted into NFL. Uh, who's that? American Heart Association, wasn't that nice? He was drafted into the NFL out of college, and he played 14 seasons with my son's favorite, Miami Dolphins. <laughs> Festus! Hey, Festus! Festus! I'm sorry, I have to yell out Festus because this little bee dog that picks on my big chocolate lab, and she won't listen unless I yell me. So, uh, where do I get to? So, um, 14 seasons from the, the Miami Dolphins. He led the Dolphins of the 1970s to two different Super Bowl, vic Super Bowl victories. Slow down. Uh, during his tenure, the Dolphins compiled a 101 win, 62 loss, and three ties. At that time, you could have ties in football record. His personal achievements include being the 14th NFL quarterback to pass for 25,000 yards, Six appearances in the Pro Bowl and winning the Jim Thorpe Memorial Trophy in 1971 as the Professional Football Player of the Year. Greasy was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1990. His jersey, number 12, at least when this was written in 1993, I don't know if there's been another amazing Dolphin player. But at number 12 was the only one to have been retired by the Dolphins. He currently lives in Miami. This was in 1993. He's involved in civics affair. He's a football analyst for ABC's college football telecast. Uh, he started with NBC first when he retired. Um, but now he's retired from that. Um, and his quote he gave was, I am very happy to have grown up in Indiana. So my thing is, why don't you still live here instead of Jupiter, Florida? Or Banner Elk, North Carolina. But anyway, he was very happy to have grown up in Indiana. He treasured his youth. I treasured my youth. And the fact that I grew up in an area where the values of people are so high. 
It's just great to have that foundation. To have grown up in Evansville and gone to school at Purdue and to have met all the people and have your character formed by those people. I'll carry that with me until the day I die in Jupiter, Florida. I added those last two words. So, and there's a picture again, and now I'm going to add some stuff that I found out about him because that's just not enough. Got to make it a little more interesting here. But I got notes this time. Two-time All-American at Purdue. Dolphins, number one draft choice in their second year of the franchise in 1967. Three AFC championships, 71, 72, 73, three years in a row. Super Bowl wins. Super Bowl seven and Super Bowl eight. And one of the biggest things here is in 1972, that's when I graduated from high school, uh, the Dolphins had a perfect season. And if that record still stand, stands, it's the only team in the history of the NFL to have a perfect season and win a championship. Uh, he was a six-time Dolphins MV MVP, an All-AFC uh, Conference player in 1970, 71, 73, and 77. Two AFL All-Star games, six AF AFC, AFC, not AFF. Uh, you can tell I'm not a big football person. AFC, NFC, Pro Bowl, six times. Um... Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1990, 1977, the Burt Bell Award for Player of the Year. Um, over his career, he uh, completed 56.2% of his passes. He scored 192 touchdowns. Uh, a little bit about his personal life, and there's not a whole lot because there's not a whole lot out there. Um, in 1967, he married his Purdue classmate, Judy L-A-S-S-U-S, -S 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 Lassus. They had three sons. Then Judy, uh, a nurse, battled for six years with breast cancer before she finally died in 1988. Hey, Fessus! 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 That little dog makes me crazy. Uh, his, he, he lives today with his second wife, Shay, uh, in Jupiter, Florida, and then part of the year in Banner, Elk, North Carolina. His youngest son, Brian, it said was a quarterback for an NFL team, but I don't know which team. And then the last interesting thing before we quit is in 2006, I know there's lots of people out there my age that love the Wheel of Fortune. They have to be on the West Wheel of Fortune. Well, he was on that in 2006 and won $100,000 and I think 14000 more in the pre-things. He donated every bit of that money to something called Judy's House, which I'm going to assume uh, was a house set up for women with breast cancer after his wife died. So, sounds like he's a pretty good guy. The only mistake he made with me is not coming back to Indiana. Instead, he goes to Jupiter, Florida. And But I'd go to Banner Elk, North Carolina. No, I wouldn't. Um, who's your through and through? So... We're going to end this song we've been playing. Let's finish out. This is Bruno singing it. I should I should, I should, should play you before you leave. Why don't you let me play the original version? Let me find it. I'll show you why. Hang on. Uh, the dog's going to sing with it. So I thought, this surely can't be their fight song. So I listened to every fight song here. And it's the same thing. Hang on, I gotta add on. Fast I changed so you can hear the original fight song. I'm gonna go kill that dog. We take the ball from goal to goal like no one's ever seen. We're in the air, we're on the ground, we're always in control. And when you say Miami, you're talking Super Bowl. That's where the Miami. Making all the trouble, so I'm not really gonna kill him because I'm scared. Don't call the ASPC or whatever it is. I love this dog. He's just a bite. Wait, look at that song. It says they sing it after every touchdown.
Well, okay. Uh, Festus wanted to hear the bears. So, I, I'm just saying goodbye because Festus wants to go listen to the, what is it, the Cincinnati Bears? Bye-bye.